right. Right, right, right. Okay, so before we do our next speaker, gosh, there's so many of you up there. Hi! What was your early. what was your takeaway from just now from Carly's presentation? I'm going to come up there. I don't know if I've got a microphone up there, but I do know I've got giveaways. So whoever sticks their hand up on the the first section needs to be able to shout loud. Okay. Uh, okay. Right. So where am I going? Come on, wave for me, brave people, brave people. Okay, there's a lady here, um, where the aisle is in the middle, waving. Do it again, wave again. This one, yeah, you're right, this one. Third person, I think. Stand up. Stand up, shout loud if there's no microphone. <laughs> Say it for me. I was not sure. I was sure in the Fit it in. Fit it in. Thank you. Right, and down here, hands up. Biggest takeaway from just now, lady dancing, just here, with the, with the, there you go. Okay, so my biggest takeaway is that there is a difference between excuses and exceptions, and you can't let your exceptions become excuses. That was like a huge thing for me. So, message got through, Carly. <laughs> message got through. Okay, Siri's trying to talk to me. Here we go. And speaker number two. Okay, she's from Canada. Woo! 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 So when she wrote her little bio into corporate, um, when we say to all of our speakers, tell us a little bit about you and like a couple of things that are, that are your best moments um, and what's different about you and unique and how, how would you describe yourself? We do that. She, at that time, was a technically, I guess you would say a single lady with a boyfriend. But now, just last week, she actually got engaged. And she has got a rock on her finger that Beyonce would be proud of. Like, so now she gets to call Brad her fiance. And those of us that have been engaged kind of know that that word then gets used a million times a day, does it not? For as often as you can, like you even tell the lady at the check-in that your fiancé is just behind you. Congratulations, my darling. Okay, so she has two fur babies, correct? And they've moved into their dream home together. Um, she works, she works full-time for seventh and, seven and eighth grade in the seventh and eighth grade as a teacher teaching art english and religion Whew. it's like three subjects she loves her job you're a smart lady smart lady she loves her job um and besides her fiance and fur babies and this made me howl she loves a bit of gangster rap <laughs> And she's gonna hate me for this, but I did see her rehearse, and she is a very strong, determined lady. So I think when you come up on stage, you need to do a little bit of gangster rap. <laughs> just, a, just a few bars, just like a couple of lyrics, clean ones. <laughs> is there such a thing as clean gangster rap? <laughs> then I'm sorry, sir, but you can't do it. Okay. <laughs> um, so, so she's a teacher. She loves gangster rap. So this like story is spinning out, right? And guess what? She also was a basketball coach for 12 years. Like, 
What? So, so you're a teacher, you love gangster rap, and you were a basketball coach for 12 years? Huh? Okay, well, still a, it's still a mixture. <laughs> a mixture of things. So I asked some of her nearest and dearest to describe her. Natalie Jarrett, Garrett, Jarrett. Jarrett. Where are you, Natalie? <laughs> said, um, who is a Canadian BS1, said she dominates the sales and sponsoring leaderboards all of the time. Top 10 out of 19,000, which is incredible. Really fast paced, she's an amazing, powerful leader who truly cares about her team. And Sasha Bogda, Sasha? Did I say that? Boida. Boida. Oh, I know that actually, because Deborah <laughs> told me I needed to say it as Boida. I'm sorry, <laughs> Deborah. Um, who is also a backstage pre presenter, said that she is relatable, consistent, and Uber loves her team and was hoping that she was being asked that question so that Sarah would speak at Empower You, right? She's like, ooh, does this mean that she's gonna to get to speak at Empower You? I can't answer that question, but the, but the question was for me. But who knows, right? Who knows, right? Okay, so without further ado, please, ladies and gents, give it up for Sarah Mandia! <laughs> if you want to call them that, um, with people that I felt were really toxic. And I know that it was my fault that I was in those relationships now, but back then I didn't because I let those people treat me that way. So I decided to treat myself with uh, the makeup sale that I thought they had on their website, which was this presenter's kit. Um, didn't know I joined a company. I called my sponsor and I said, hey, can I put your name down for this? I don't know why I need to put your name. She said, sure. So I was probably the easiest recruit you will ever see. I was like a kidnapper that didn't know I was a kidnapper. So fast forward, um, she added me to these groups. I was like, okay, this is kind of cool. I saw the success of my upline, Natalie Jarrett. Um, and I was like, man, what is she, like, she just does this? Like makeup, what? I don't understand. So I started asking a lot of questions and I encourage you when you have a new girl and she's asking questions, you answer those questions because that means she cares and she wants to push forward with this business. So I asked a lot of questions and I was like, wait, share, sponsor, sell, do it consistently. Okay, sell some mascara. That's what I gotta do. Um, so that was sort of like my first aha moment. I had two. 
So there's obviously going to be setbacks, right? So my first big setback, being a full-time teacher, we weren't even allowed to have Facebook four years ago. Like, they looked down upon it. They're like, don't have Facebook. Don't, like, you know, don't put yourself out there. So my Facebook was private. You couldn't search me. I didn't have my name on there. I did not add people. I didn't like stuff. I didn't comment. I had, like, no friends on there. So this, and that was my first big thing I had to overcome. The second thing was shooting videos. I'm like, videos? We didn't have live back then. Um, so videos were terrifying. I'm gonna show you my very first video. Please note my terrible hair, my terrible lighting. I'm holding my phone, terrible shirt. Um, but I just wanna show you like 15 seconds of it to show you where I've come from and where I was. I was also green status at this point. Hi guys, I never thought I would make a video, but here I am. Um, the only one for my presenter is great. Uh, so just wanted to give you a little background on how I ended up starting with this new company, Unique. Uh, so I went online, a girlfriend brought the mascara over to my house, and I tried it, and I loved it. And I said, you know what, I'm going to go and order some tomorrow online. So when I went on to order some, I realized that I could become a presenter for $120. Okay, I'm going to stop it there because I talk a lot and if you really <laughs> want to see it, it's still on my YouTube channel. I keep it there for my new girls when they're terrified of their wives or think they did bad. I'm like, there you go. Check this out. Uh, so I like, this is like, it gets worse. So it's just like all over the place. So my journey to black, this was something that I always absolutely loved hearing when I came to convention. This is my fourth convention. So I hit green in my first three months, didn't even understand what hitting green meant. I uh, didn't understand the compensation plan at all. By the time I was orange nine months later, I was starting to get things a lot more. Uh, purple in my first year, and I hit black in my first two and a half years in the business. Woo! I know, right? I'm still doing that, working full time, and I'll talk about that. Now, my second aha moment, how many of you in here, this is your very first convention? Very first, look at those hands. I'm gonna say right now, I am so proud of you for getting here because I'm gonna tell you this is not easy. It is not easy to be here. My very first convention, I wanted nothing to do with it. I was, I was orange when I went to my first convention. I did not want to go. I said, what, 6,000 women screaming about makeup? No. I ate, room in, I ate lunch in my room by myself because my anxiety was so bad. Okay, I wasn't even really a nice person. I'm not gonna lie, I was mean. Like, I'm staying with my roommate now, who's my sideline sister. We hated each other at our first convention. Now we're roommates three years later, okay? So I'm telling you, if you are feeling overwhelmed, if you are feeling like this is too much, if you're feeling like I am going home and my head is hurting, it's okay, you are okay feeling that way. We have been there. And I'm gonna tell you, it gets way easier. I love convention now, it's my favorite thing. It's my favorite event that we do, okay? So just know that and come back next year, Orlando. Uh, um, my convention was my second aha moment and it was my second aha moment because I came home, regardless of how I felt and everything, and I saw girls do this. I saw girls on stage sharing their story and I said, I want to do that, how do I do that? So I started asking questions to Natalie, and she loves my questions. Um, so I, and she's like, well, you gotta hit black status. I'm like, all right, well, let's do this team. We gotta go to black status because I want to speak at convention. I didn't care about the money. I didn't care about the recognition. I wanted to do this moment. So I am Woo! so excited. Oh! All right, so I'm gonna do my quick present day. I promise I have lots of tangible teacher mode things coming for you and lots of slides. So quick facts about me, we're already covered. Uh, Full-time teacher, I play soccer still all the time. I have a life, okay, this is my point of this. I coach basketball still, all right? I have two fur babies, Teddy and Zeus, and uh, my fiance, Brad and myself. So those of you who go through this business, Brad and I met two months before I hit black status, okay? And those of you who struggle in your relationship, you know your husband's like, you're on your phone too much. You already are in a relationship jumping into this business. I was single running this business, so I knew that the person Person I was going to be with forever had to accept all of this. They were not, there was no getting around this because I wasn't leaving my team, I wasn't leaving my business, so there was no excuse there. So I'm not a relationship expert, I can't help you in that area, <laughs> but I can tell you that 
I'm gonna give you some tangible ways at the end that you can at least help with that, maybe. So Brad and I, one of the biggest things, he and I we do things together. So when he gets off work, especially right now in the summer, I work all day, we do things together so I'm not feeling like he's taking more of the load. And I'm trying to, we try to balance it all out, okay? And again, I'm gonna to come to that. So let's get into the stuff where you may wanna take pictures, you may wanna take notes. I love tangible, I'm teacher, so like tangible is my middle name. So the number, the three things, like I said, to get that I believe help me to achieve mass success and maybe help some of you. Number one, you've got to know your worth, okay? Number two, you've got to do, um, you've got to make organized chaos work for you. And number three, know that there's going to be sacrifice. So I'm gonna make everyone participate, teacher style. I want you guys to yell out with me right now that I am worthy of massive success because I'm telling you right now, when you tell yourself this every single day, you will start believing it. But if you don't believe it when you say it right now, you're not going to believe it later on. So we're gonna do it on the count of three. One, two, three. I am worthy of massive success. You are all worthy of it and you need to know that. You need to know your worth. So, how many of you in here have seen The Secret? How many of you in here have seen The Secret? I was like the last person in the world the first time I watched this with my negative mindset. I was like, what is this? Okay, and you're gonna watch it your first time and do the same thing. Then you're gonna watch it your second time. I show this to my grade eight students. Half of them don't understand it, and that's okay, because I get to watch it like 10 more times a year if I show it to them. <laughs> But I believe that I am literally, I'm living in my dream home that I believed, I visualized, and I received from the universe. I'm driving my dream car, okay? I am with my dream man because when I was watching The Secret and visualizing things, I'm telling you this stuff works. This is a mindset training, this works. So the biggest thing here, uh, I'm gonna put it out in front of all of you people in here that my next thing that I have always visualized for myself is that I'm going to have twins. So my sponsor, her sponsor, who's Natalie Carly, who spoke, um, we've got two of my elites are twins. I am surrounded by twins, people with twins. I don't know why, and it's something, so in two years from now, because I ain't having twins before the wedding, um, I want you to come out to me and say, did you have those twins? You pregnant with those twins yet? So that is something like, and it sounds absolutely crazy. I'm doing this in front of so many people right now, but it's because I really believe everything else that's come into my life, I believed, I visualized, and received, including last status. I visualized this moment. Okay? So know your work. You are all worthy of this. I am not viral. I have no viral videos. I have never had a viral post. Okay, guys? So don't think you need to be viral to go far in this business because you don't. I hit the top of the company without any viralness. You need to care more about the people on your team than the numbers on your social media. Like a half of you probably don't even know who I am in here. So that's like perfect example for you. Uh, <laughs> so my thing, I am successful at speed. I'm busy. You saw that from my intro. Do things right away. I teach my team this. I do it right away. If someone's like, hey, it's getting lots of engagement in my VIP, I do it. If someone tells me, uh, Christy yesterday was telling me about her live training she does on people's walls for parties because it's quick and easy and she gets tons of followers, right? Okay, I'll do that. You know what, you have to, if something gives you a really good idea, do it right away. Don't write it in a journal and forget about it. When you get a good idea today at convention, don't write it down and forget about it, okay? Because you've got a lot of good ideas that are swirling in that head of yours. You'll have to organize them after a convention, but in your everyday life, if someone shares an idea with you, don't wait, do it. Um, so the same feature on Facebook is one of my best friends. We're busy, you know, lots of us work, lots of us have excuses. One of the easiest things, I had to save stuff for my own wall, you're gonna do this on other people's walls. Um, Go save posts that you think are creative. We can't all be creative. You need to go follow some black status leaders. Do you know how easy it is to find them? You go to your convent, you go to your website, click rising stars. Every single black status leader, level one, two is there. You should be following them. I follow everybody. I do what they do. And I figure out what's gonna work and I save their stuff. 
And then when it's six in the morning and I'm getting up for work, I don't have an excuse of not posting to my wall. I grab something from my saved features on there and I make sure that I post to my wall in the morning. And I do the same thing on my 30 minute lunch break if I'm lucky. And I do the same thing after school. And the only time I really scroll, don't get caught in the scroll hole, is to be intentional. So I'm commenting. I will comment on people's stuff, but I will make sure that I save at least a couple posts. Like, oftentimes I save Sasha's post and I post about her son, Cohen. And then she'll write me and say, Sarah, are you copying my post? And you don't have a son named Cohen, but I feel like I've adopted Cohen. I've adopted Cohen as my son, because he is my son now, because he's in a lot of my posts. He's a lot of our stuff. We do that. That's what we do in this business. We share. And if anyone ever gets mad at you about using their content, you come tell me. So. <laughs> not swearing. Okay, Johnny F. Mosler, uh, I'm really quick. I love this guy. He's an algorithm ninja if you don't know him. So videos can be a little intense, but he is smart. If your boss said to you, okay, you know what? This is the new computer program we're going to use. You're going to go learn it. This guy knows every single in and out of Facebook. Everything new, he'll tell you. He tells you not to be spammy. He tells you not to be like, you know, to not be a unique robot, okay? So make sure that you go watch his stuff. Um, because it's really helped me with a lot of my posting and my social media stuff. So just take a picture of that. I don't want to run out of time here. That's my problem. Uh, so event planner. This is absolutely my best friend. Um, I am not a person who's organized, okay? This is all in my organized chaos part of my presentation. I love event planner. Jenny tells me, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna sign up on the 20th when I get paid. Okay, we've all heard that message. So what I do is I go in and I put a reminder right in my event planner and I follow up with her on the 20th. What this does is it sends her a reminder and it sends you a reminder to follow up. So you don't even have to write anything down. You could do this on the go at the grocery store, okay? So please use this. I use this to like drop off makeup, uh, put makeup in the mailbox. Don't forget to do that in the morning. This thing is my life because it's an organizer. It's a tool, right? Facebook for you. Scheduler. Do not use third-party apps. The Facebook jail queen is on stage. Do not use them. I was a since share ambassador, post my party, post cron. Jackie can attest to this. We like love these things. We're both teachers running this business, and it was easier to not post in our parties ourselves. Facebook has given you a scheduler. Start your parties on a Wednesday. I learned that yesterday in one of the classes. Start your parties on a Wednesday and use this to help you. It doesn't show that it's not you posting. Then when I'm on my lunch break, I can check notifications. I can check things rather than worrying about posts because I forget about it because I like organized chaos. Okay? Don't take weekends off. Groups are an easy, so don't take weekends off. That is 25% of your income gone. Okay? I sponsor and sell the most on weekends. Uh, groups. Groups are an easy place to find friends. You should be adding five to 10 friends a day, non-negotiable. Want to know a really quick way? I take a picture of me and Teddy, my little dog. I bought an app, my talking pet. I'm in like <laughs> these groups with like other Morky Poo moms. And I say, me and Teddy are looking to make some mom friends today. Okay, I don't have kids, so I can't really do that. So I just hold my dog. <laughs> but you know what? Sometimes I'll make a hundred friends doing that and I don't have to even think about it. You're gonna get guys that I do just delete them. But <laughs> I specifically say mom so that I have new women on my Facebook. They're not makeup related, but it doesn't mean that they won't see my lives because I am, I do the things like live every day almost, okay? So that's an easy place. Another way that I've done it is I take a purse that I don't use anymore, guys. Like seriously, not an expensive purse. I'll go into a yard sale group and I'll say, free purse. I go to local groups because Canada shipping sucks. Um, <laughs> but I go to local groups and I give away a purse. I say, nine o'clock Sunday night, I'm gonna give this purse away. All you gotta do to be entered is add me as a friend. And you know what's really great about not being viral is that I know all those people that have <laughs> added me in the last five days, those are all people wanting the purse. The last lady I did this for, she hugged me and cried. She was a Syrian refugee and she won. And I was like, perfect, this, I've done something good. But I've also made a lot of, I've sponsored a lot of people that way, because then they see my videos and they're like, oh, she's always live, not just for purses. <laughs> um, group chats, time to get over it, people. I get it, lots of notifications, group chats are overwhelming. I get it, I was the same, but I'm telling you, group chats are your key to uplift, empower, and validate this business. 
These are where you're going to make connections, like Carly said. These are where you are going to make friends. You are going to have, you know, I'm in a black status chat with some girls, nothing to do with my team, kind of like a wolf pack. Um, you know, I've got my circle chat. I've got, um, I've got my elite chat. I've got chats for everything, brand new presenters. It's where you make connections, and this is how you teach your team to build relationships with other people. And it's not money focused because no one's in there for money. Everyone's in there to be real people, right? All right, sacrifice. Give up time wasters. Who in here has Candy Crush on their phone? <laughs> Don't be shy. I know that. Oh, three hands. <laughs> three hands. Okay, uh, look at these three girls in the front row. Good for you girls. Okay, <laughs> how many of you in here are willing to delete Candy Crush today? Yes, girls. Yeah. I am telling you, what a time waster. Level 168. It took you like 30 minutes, all those five lives. Oh, yeah, You're not making any money in that half an hour you just wasted. Okay, get rid of Candy Crush and come tell me after. Hey, I deleted it. Um, other time wasters, television. My deal, it doesn't mean you can't watch it, my deal with myself is I put my butt on a treadmill, then I'm allowed to watch Netflix. If I'm traveling, I don't have Wi-Fi, I will download Netflix shows. That's the only time I allow myself to watch television because again, it's a time waster. Invest in things, my Roomba. So my Roomba is part of my family. This thing vacuums my house for me. This is a great investment. Okay, so if you don't have a Roomba vacuum, it's one of those robot circle things that goes around and picks up your dog hair that gives me anxiety, get a Roomba in your life. It'll change things, okay? I hired the poop squad. I have two dogs and I told, I said, there's no point fighting with my fiance. I said, you know what? This is gonna save me an hour because I ain't picking up no dog poop. And it's gonna save him and I having a huge fight. So I hired a poop squad that comes once a week to clean my backyard. If you have, you know, Hire a house cleaner once every two weeks to deep cleaning stuff you don't like to do. That's an investment because that three hours it takes you to clean your house, that's three hours you could have been messaging people, booking parties, being live on your wall, all the things that we do. Woo! Invest in yourself, okay? You work hard for your money. Um, last things for a sacrifice, be present with your kids. I'm not a mom yet, but I got a lot of moms on my team. Your kids don't care about your car, they don't care about the house they're in. They don't care about, uh, you know, what you can buy them. They want you. So if they want you, you put that phone down and you be with your kids, all the mamas in the room, and I will be there one day with you. Teach your kids that the cell phone means work, though. So Carly had mentioned that, and it's, if your kids know that your cell phone, if you're on your phone, it means mommy's working. Now, if you're playing Candy Crush, your kids aren't stupid. They know that that's not work. So another reason to delete it, just saying, okay? <laughs> Daycare, a couple days a week, or even a day a week if you're a stay-at-home mom, give yourself a full day to get stuff done for your business. You need that, okay? So don't, there's no shame in putting your kids in daycare for a day. It socializes, it's great. Um, your significant other should not come home from work and expect the house to be spotless and everything to be done. That's not, heck no, right? So, you are not. Do not, that should not be an expectation. He works outside of the home, you work in the home. There's no difference. The way that my fiance and I make it work, especially in the summer, because I'm off, I work all day, and then when he comes home, I make sure that we do things together. If he's out like mowing the lawn, then yeah, I'm gonna get my butt out of my chair, and I'm gonna go put the dishes away in the kitchen, or I'm gonna do something to help out around the house. That will save so much time and energy in your relationship, I can tell you. Fill your cup. Go get a pedicure, go get a manicure, go do something for you, go shopping, do whatever you love to do because you need to fill your cup, you need to take a break from this business. Your head's going to explode when you leave convention because you're going to have so much information and we're not even done yet guys and I'm so proud of you for showing up to your Saturday class. Um, give your partner quality time daily. I can't stress this enough. I've watched so many of my friends, you know, hit the top of this company and then their relationship is just done because they've worked so hard and we, I know, I'm on your side, girl. You're working hard for your, for your family. You're doing it for them. But sometimes they don't see that when you're not giving them quality time. So put that phone down and every single day make an effort with your relationship. I'm telling you, you don't want to get to the top alone because it's lonely. So this is my last thing. Okay, I want you to either take a selfie right now, take one of the 4,000 you have on your phone, I don't care which one it is, 
and I want you to hashtag, you can tag me, I will find the hashtags though, that I am worthy of massive success because I'm telling you, if you do not tell yourself this every single day, you won't get there. You have to tell yourself. I had a girl today in one of my chats being like, I don't think I'm gonna sell any kudos. What? Well, no, you're not, because you just told yourself you're not going to sell any kudos, so that's what's going to happen. You need to tell yourself, I'm going to sell five kudos. I'm going to sponsor five people this month, okay? And feel free to follow me. I want to travel home tomorrow and find all of these. So when I'm sitting at the airport, this is what I'm doing. is going to tell you that you are worthy of massive success, and I can't wait to watch your journey. So I want to thank corporate for this opportunity. I... This has been an absolute dream come true. And I, you guys are in for a real good treat because he's coming next. I love this outfit that she's wearing, by the way. We called each other. I think we have similar tasting clothes. Yeah, that's, that's good. Oh, this is from Dynamite. See, this is in Canada and to order me one. Thank you. Oh, yeah, Dynamite. Recently, too. This shirt, not recently. Can I just say, how much information was Sorry, in that presentation? <laughs> how much? That was just awesome, wasn't it? <laughs> and, and also, you didn't tell me in your bio that you were so funny. You oh, had me God. laughing out loud down there. Down here. Yeah. And you also didn't tell me you had a son called Cohen. I don't. I know. Either. so cute. I love him. <laughs> Give it up for Happy Sarah Mandia. Thank you. Fabulous. Fabulous. Incredible outfit. Okay, so we are, um, I need to give everyone.